What's up? What's going on, everyone? It's time for another top five reasons to play. I got a good one for you. Do you like detective games, strange characters, putting the clues together while all of it in a Cthulhu story and environment? Oh, yeah. Then we're looking at Sinkin' City. Now, this is developed by Frogwares, and it's a very fun detective game. I had a really good time with this. I played this back in Halloween. We did like a full on Cthulhu. I think it was uh, the. Yeah, it was the Halloween beforehand. We did like a Cthulhu marathon type deal with going and getting platinums and stuff so i got the platinum for this game really enjoyed playing it and i'm going to tell you my top three five reasons why i think you should check it out so let's go into number one number one is finding the clues so of course any good detective game is going to have you finding all the clues to put the pieces together and solve the case well here is no exception from finding different notes to items to even blood stains that your task with finding all the requirements to put together the events of what happened either in the building in the area or wherever your setting might be now also the good thing about all this is when you're done finding all the clues in a place so some games will have you like basically running around going oh, did i find everything do i still need to find things and stuff this is great because on the map you can go to the map take a look and it'll tell you if all the clues have been found or, or if it's a main case like the main storyline it'll tell you if all the key clues have been found so which is great all right let's get into number two so now that you have all those clues what's the next step right putting them all together and that's where number two comes in now that you've found these various clues, well, the next step is to recreate the events. You have various ways to do this by matching up the events to seeing things with, uh, you have a paranormal vision you can use and rebuilding what happened because it's a detective game and you want to learn all the things in order, right? You want to put all the stuff together. And there's even a thing called the, the mind, the mind vault or mind, I can't remember it for some reason, but the there's a, there's a thing in there called the mind thing that has all the various clues that you found that you can like pretty much match up, and they will tell, and they'll kind of break it up and build it into even more things. So it's really cool how that works like that. All right, number three. So where's all these clues come from, right? The cases. In any good detective game, you want of course the main storyline, and you want side stories. So here you have the main story and a bunch of side cases to flesh out the city even more because the Sacred City is what it's all about, right? It's the name of the game. I find this pretty fantastic as you're not just focused on the main goal, but you can look into the other cases that are bizarre and e even deal with more Cthulhu lore, which is just great. All right, number four. We're going to move on to the cast. So as a detective, it's always good to run into an interesting cast from your low life thug to the head of the city to even more bizarre people that you never thought you might meet. Well, it's really well done. They have good voice acting and the dialogue is decent. While some even have choices to make, as I talked about before, with different endings and different stuff. So you have different choices to make depending on the situation, which personally I think that's great because as a detective game, I like the idea of being able to be like, well, wait a minute, do I want to rat this person out? Do I want to save them? You know, it's it's got that that setting, that style, which I really enjoy. All right, and we're going to finish it up at number five, the locations. Okay, so a big thing you pretty much can guarantee on most of these top five videos is I love to explore and I love seeing different locations. So you're pretty much always going to see one of the top five reasons is going to be the setting or exploration or something of that caliber. So the Sinkin' City does not, it did not disappoint in any way. You have things from rundown slums to more sophisticated areas to an old asylum and even under the ocean. But I won't say much about that. They did a great job making each of the various districts unique, while also the key places in the story stand out. Not to mention that some changes that happen as you get closer to the end will be very noticeable. Oh, you'll, you'll see. So, with all that being said, this is Sinkin' City. It's my top five reasons to play. As always, this is recorded on the PS5. With and this is 60 frames per second for anybody who's wondering. You could find it on the PlayStation, Xbox, PC, and the Switch. Uh, and if you like detective titles, you like solving cases and seeing strange environments and just a small amount of combat, there is combat. It's not the best per se, but it's doable. Uh, and you're fighting otherworldly creatures and whatnot, so that's pretty cool. 
I would definitely recommend this. So thank you everyone as always who watch my top five videos, the streams that we've been doing and the various content. It's very appreciated you guys. I just thank you very much. It's, it's big. Uh, it's very big to me in the end. Thank you. Make sure to hit that notification button as well. This way you'll be able to come by when we're live streaming and check out what we're doing. So beyond that, be safe, be just, and as always, huzzah.